Well, good morning and welcome back to my vlog. If this is the first video you've seen of mine, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up so that way you don't miss any new content. Today I'm going to be venturing around a little bit, just trying to get some pictures, make a little vlog during, but uh, I struggle a little bit vlogging in the car. If you can't tell, it's loud, it's noisy, Terre Haute roads are not the smoothest, so the video might be a little choppy, but I'm going to try my best because it's pretty windy outside, so I won't be able to vlog outside and talk much, but... So my first two destinations that I know I'm going to go to today is Bridgeton and Mansfield, Indiana. If you're from the area, you know that this is where the Covered Bridge festivals um, take place kind of neat little areas, old towns that have the covered bridge, but uh, pretty neat. I've not taken too many pictures there of like landscape, which is typically what I stick with. So we'll see how this goes today because it's going to be cold. So see you there. So as you can see, it's quite a nice little spot. If you've been here or you live around here or something, um, you definitely have the picture of you standing over there by the bridge, uh, getting your picture with your significant other or your family. So it's a very well-known spot around here for a good reason. I mean. Can you not love something like that? It is so windy, I'm so scared to leave this GoPro on that ledge. Cause that's a, that's a drop that uh, I wouldn't get the GoPro back. <laughs> okay guys, I gotta get back to the car cause I'm getting kind of cold. Once I warm up, we're gonna walk a little bit just to show some of the older buildings around here, but I'm cold. Okay, so since I'm still learning with the GoPro and the camera, I'm gonna see if I can get a reflection photo with the camera and then see if I can get it with the GoPro as well.
Eh, we'll see. Okay guys, changed my mind a little bit. A little too cold to walk around just in uh, Bridgeton. Not really that many interesting buildings there. Um, but on the way back, probably gonna stop and get some ice cream at the Bridgeton Mill ice cream shop. Okay, as you guys probably thought, both of these towns or villages, whatever you want to call them, both look very run down and doesn't look like there's much there. But during the Cover Bridge Festival, there's thousands of people here and bunch of vendors and everything else going on. So not too significant without the Cover Bridge Festival going on, but if you want to get some of the views without a bunch of people here it's definitely the time to come when it's slightly chilly and uh not the cover bridge so here we are in mansfield and if you've not been here there's also mansfield mill So as you can see, both two very similar um, spots. So, kind of cool. So as you can see behind me, there's a few houses and restaurants that sort of overlook this dam. And uh, it's a pretty neat spot. Of course, right now, there's literally nobody here. Pretty much a ghost town. The fun thing about this town is you can actually drive on this covered bridge, so I'm gonna walk up there and show you what it's all about. Okay guys, so since I'm still learning to vlog, just kind of getting into it, having some fun, um, let me know down in the comments what you like to see, what you want to see some more of. If you thought this vlog was kind of fun, I specifically enjoyed this kind of vlog because you get to see some pretty cool views and uh, I get to take some pictures during it. So. Let me know down in the comments. If you liked it, definitely give me a thumbs up. Since photography is probably more of my hobby than vlogging, let's do a nice little time lapse because those are always really fun. During the Cover Bridge festivals, all of these little shacks would be open with vendors selling random goods, whether they be homemade or like, you know, the cheap knockoff um, North Face jackets and stuff like that. But 
The food is typically amazing and uh, it's just a, an event to see if you've never been to it, so. I don't know if that was truly a jailhouse or not, but pretty neat. Love ice cream, so anything ice cream related is pretty neat. <laughs> so let's go back to Bridgeton and uh, get some of that homemade ice cream. guys really wanted some ice cream from the Bridgeton mill but uh, looks like I was just a little too late so there is another ice cream shop on the way back home so hopefully we'll make it there on time guys I got my cookies and cream avalanche that's what they call their blizzards so let's try it I mean you can't really go wrong with ice cream so that's pretty good and it's even cheaper than Dairy Queen because this is a small and it was under five dollars so Green Acres Dairy Barn or something I don't know Terre Haute I'll I'll link it in the description because I don't know what it's called their sign was down must have broke or something so nothing like eating ice cream when it's uh freezing outside but as I learned from my grandma, you can never pass up ice cream. You drive by an ice cream shop, you pretty much have to go. Thanks, Nan. Well, that pretty much wraps up my attempt to have some fun during a nice, crappy, uh, gloomy day. If you're going to have a nice, crappy, gloomy day. But, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And, uh, leave me a comment of where you think we should go next and here we are get us we home guys <laughs>